This method allows us to decrease stitches while making cute little cables like these ones. The decreases worked over three stitches. So first one thing we do is work to the three stitches that are going to be involved in the decrease. The right leaning cable decrease starts with a very awkward step. Uh, we have to insert the tip of the right needle from left to right into the third stitch from the tip of the left needle. Like this. If you find it difficult, especially if you are a tight knitter, then it's better to loosen the stitch by going into that stitch from right to left, then pulling on it a little bit, then taking the needle out, and now we can confidently go into the stitch from left to right. We have to knit the stitch through the front loop, as usual. And the next step would be to wrap the yarn around the tip of the right needle. We can't do it from here because the needle is too far from the yarn. So we have to bring the yarn closer to the needle. So we bring the yarn to the front of the work and place it between the left and right needle and then move it over the needle, creating the wrap. And then we pull this wrap through the stitch, knitting the stitch through the front loop. But we don't take it off the left needle yet because we have two more stitches to deal with, right? And we're going to do it in the next step. So with the yarn at the back of the work, we insert the tip of the right needle into these two stitches, the first two stitches from the tip of the left needle, but this time we go from right to left, like this. And then we wrap the tip of the right needle with the yarn and knit these two stitches together through the back loop. Now we can confidently slip all three stitches off the left needle. This method could be a little bit unusual, but it is faster than using the cable needle and it is safer than the method that involves rearranging stitches on the needle by slipping them off and having live stitches just sticking out of your work. So this is a safer and faster method to make this type of cable uh, decreases. Uh, to make a left slanting uh, cable decrease. Again, we work to the three stitches involved in the decrease and then we start by inserting the tip of the right needle from right to left into the second and third stitch from the tip of the left needle and we keep the yarn at the back of the work. So we go into these two stitches like this. And then we wrap the tip of the right needle with the yarn and pull the wrap through, knitting these two stitches through the back loop. But again, we still keep them on the left needle because there is one stitch waiting for its turn. And we're going to deal with that stitch in the next step. So we insert the tip of the right needle into that stitch from left to right, then wrap the needle with the yarn and pull the wrap through, knitting the stitch through the front loop. And now we slip all three stitches off the left needle. Because we work stitches in such an unusual fashion, they could be a little bit bunched up when you slip them off the left needle. To open the cable, simply pull the fabric sideways and you will see that we formed a lovely cable that slants to the right over here and a lovely cable that slants to the left over there. You can make these decreases in every fourth row as I did over here or in every other row for a steeper shaping. And the process is the same for projects worked back and forth and the ones worked in the round. In the next round after you make the decrease, Pull the stitches of the cable in the um, project worked back and forth or knit them if you are working in the round. For more details about this way to decrease stitches, get the full tutorial at tenroseday.com slash cable decreases. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.